And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, we continue to track more of those scattered storms that continue to fire up throughout the viewing area. In fact, a pretty hefty little sell off to the southwest of Lafayette at this hour continues to gain strength. But let's go off to the northeast towards parts of Howard as well as Cass. Miami County, you can see a couple cells right here. A few cloud the ground lightning strikes. This is all moving northeastward very slowly about 15 to 20 miles per hour. The slower moving system is the one I just mentioned. You can see a couple lines of showers and storms beginning to pop up across parts of Fountain as well as Montgomery, even Warren County, even into Tippecanoe County. Getting a little bit closer of a look, you can see just southwest of Newtown, that nice dark red. That indicates that maybe some small hails indicated there just northeast of Rob Roy, southwest of Odell. This system's moving northeast only about 9 to 10 miles per hour. So along with the possibility of some small all hail, cloud the ground lightning. It's likely that we could even see localized flooding because of the slow moving system. You pair that with the heavy rainfall amounts, you could be dealing with some localized flooding as well. So please remember to travel safely over the next couple of hours. You can may see some of that uh, road covered water throughout the viewing area. So what we're looking at here is more of those pop up showers and storms moving across the region. So why are we seeing so many storms pop during the afternoon? Not a whole lot of organization, and it's all thanks to a core of high pressure sitting off to the southeast that continues to sit and spin over the southeastern United States, bringing the southerly winds in. The heat and moisture travel along that high pressure system or just off to the west of that. And as a result, we're seeing all the heat and humidity move in across our region. Not a whole lot of organization once again. That's off to our northwest. See a line of showers and storms in the northwest of us. That indicates a cold front that will eventually move across the viewing area in the coming days. But for now, just the pop-up showers and storms continue. So it's a bit of a stormy start to the work week to say the least. The storm chances continue through today and into tomorrow as well. And we could even be talking about the potential for severe weather going ahead just in time for Wednesday. What we're looking at right now, you can see off to the southwest. I mentioned that nice little cell of heavy rainfall. Well, you can see that looking southwest over the Wabash River, the dark just off to the west of us. And we could scroll this up a little bit more. You'd see a nice cumulonimbus cloud moving right towards us. So that's your heavy rainfall right there. But for right now in Lafayette, 82 degrees. Winds picking up from the South southeast 15 miles per hour. The heat index still holding on at 85 degrees. Notice off to the southwest of southeast, I should say, you can see some cooler temperatures. That's some rain cooled areas right there. Kirkland 69, 70 in Burlington, still holding on at 87, however, in Kentland at this hour. Your precision future cast over the next few hours. Scattered shower and storm chances continue up until about 10 to 11 p.m. That's when things begin to dry out. By 2 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning, maybe a couple light showers over the far northwestern portion of the viewing area. As far as your snapshot forecast goes, 80 degrees by 7 p.m., falling to 69 by midnight. We'll bottom out at 66 degrees. It's at least we dry out during the overnight hours. All in all, tomorrow does bring additional storm chances back to the viewing area. You can see more scattered showers and storms developing across the region. And in turn, what we're looking at tomorrow is maybe even a slight risk of severe weather off to the west of us. We have a dark green, this marginal risk for the western half of the viewing area for tomorrow afternoon and evening. Now, once we get past Wednesday, that will be the best chance for severe weather. That cold front will interact with the heat and humidity on Wednesday. Once we get past that point, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, looking nearly flawless with temperatures in the upper 70s, the low 80s, plenty of sunshine. And there does appear to be another cold front that will roll across the region late Sunday into early Monday. After that point, once again, cooler, calmer conditions look to move back into the viewing area. All right, get through the next couple of days. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, really. Once we can get past that Wednesday, Marco, again, that right. is the best chance for severe weather. Once we get past that, things looking very, very nice. We'll take it, Cam. Yeah. Thank you. Just ahead, Donald.